What is going on ladies and gents, it's your boy SoCali again with some more Horse Racing Manager 2 Stable Mode Gameplay Part 3 or Day 3, Episode 3, whatever, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new From last episode, you can tell we had a terrible, terrible, terrible going of races uh, We have yet to even place, honestly, we have gotten screwed with stamina every freaking race It is really getting bad and uh, we're just trying to find something that works for us, but I, I just, I don't know. It just seems like my horses just are not really listening to me. I'm trying to keep them from getting too ahead of themselves, and they end up getting ahead of themselves, and it's just, it's just been all bad. It's, it's been all bad, so uh, we are trying to get a W under our belt. We are absolutely trying to, at least for a place, not even a win. A place shows that we're making progress, you know. Uh, we'll get a race for maybe mid-May. Um, that is really my goal right now. Um, I could say, I, I definitely think it's my racing style for sure. I think that's what people will say, oh, your racing style is terrible. I agree. It really is. Um, but why all of a sudden I can't win races now and I've been able to win races previously in this game? I don't know. I do not know. I, I don't want to blame it on horse stats per se. Because I feel like it's, it's the way I'm running. I'm ending... I'm ending with the same results every time, you know, so I don't really think it's the horses so much as my actual playing style that's really screwing me up here. Uh, so hopefully, like I said, we can get a place. I don't really know what to do. Um, like I said, I want to have outside leverage. I, I'm telling you, wait till you wait till there's a race where I get outside leverage. I guarantee you I will place. But I'm getting screwed with the stamina and the inside and the AI being fucking assholes. So it's, this is really just a stressful time period for us right now. We're racing with uh, Tatiana Mami. Uh, she's going at 14 to 1. Not bad. Uh, I forgot to check the, the surface. Sand Firm, Mr. Bull at St. John's. We'll see. Getting a start is really crucial. And like, honestly, I think what you need, what I need to do is I really need to get moving as soon as we get out of the gates and out, you know. Uh, the gate pulls away. I need to get that acceleration going. I need to get my position locked in. Cause trying to, cause going through majority of the race maneuvering is bad. You see now positioning is terrible here. We could get a good start, move move in on the inside, and work with that. We could. Um. So yeah, we have terrible gate position. Which means we're gonna automatically have to move in with the rest of the field. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. Tatiana seems to be good. We got her with the blinkers on today. We're going to keep her outside, man. We're keeping her outside. Uh, I can't tell if the field is really moving in on us or if we're just going kind of slow. I can't tell if the field's moving away. I really cannot. I don't know what it is, man. It's like you really can't get your horse coming out super fast because then they're going to break. And she's just just, just, just taking just, just, a, just a good old stroll. Come on, Tots. Get up there. Get up there. All right. We got her under the reins a little bit. Trying to just at least catch up to the pack. Not going to do this inside crap. We're going to go nose to helmet to this horse right here. And this should be good. So we're going to get hit with some windage, but that's a lot better than utilizing just effort for stamina. I really want to get up. Okay, we're going to move her up. We're going to move her up right there nose to helmet. No, you see, well, you see what these AI horses do. He, there's no reason for him to be all the way out here. They, they, that's their way of getting you to play the game to, to to be challenging. You know, there was no reason for that at all, even to get his his horse moving. Like if there, like if there were actual rules, this there would be so many disqualifications. We're gonna get her moving right now. We got 1,600 meters to go, and there's the rest of the field. This horse is probably broken. I can't tell if he broke or not. That horse broke, so that screwed us. It's, it's terrible, man. These AI are just, they're terrible. That horse looked like it might break, too. Yep, that horse broke. That horse like it's about to break. At least we're not breaking. There's the block. For no reason at all. <laughs> There's the block. I, that, that, one, that, that, that race was out of my hand, honestly. Horses breaking left and right. AI being doing just things that would get them disqualified. Another stamina loss. Just terrible, man. This is this is really becoming frustrating. I've never had this bad of experience in this game. And the difficulty is on normal. I don't play it on hard because I can't even win races on normal, obviously. 
it's hard it makes me think i should go down to easy but ah positioning man positioning if you have outside leverage and i mean really good outside leverage you can get going from that stuff not having supreme outside leverage really screws with you it really does this has been the most stressful stable mode i've ever endured i promise you not winning any races getting blocked by the ai skip away odds are 23 to 1 there's no point in checking anything else it is it is just a bad time right now ladies and gents it's a really bad fucking time we're gonna try once again outside leverage which usually happens when you register for races last minute the earlier you register for races the better field position number you get so we're gonna try again i don't know what to do because i don't want to exert so much stamina just for the sake of getting outside leverage but clearly it's something i probably need to invest in because we're not doing well with it right now trying to get him moving okay we might need to exert this much energy yeah thank goodness he came over i need that block this is something i can roll with this is pretty good outside leverage that i think i'm comfortable with he's staying ahead of the pack I don't think we're really going to trail too much. We can keep this. We are exerting quite a bit of stamina, so I'm hoping these horses kind of move up. I could drop his stamina to move him in. I'm going to tuck him in as soon as this horse moves, but I'm going to drop his stamina just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Tuck him in right here. This is a comfortable spot for me. I'm not in the back. I still have outside leverage, so as soon as I want to get going, I can get going. We might actually have a decent showing in this race. We're second to last, but it's a lot better than what I've had previously. Okay, we're going to gotta get him up again. Got to get him up again. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Exerting too much energy. Come on, Skips. Too much energy. All right. There we go. This is good positioning right now. This is really good positioning right now. We got 1,000 meters to go. We might just get him going really early. Yeah, we're gonna get him going. We're gonna get him going. We're gonna then we're gonna tuck to the inside if we can. We're gonna tuck to the inside to see how much we can get away, get away with on this field. Come on, skips. Come on, skips. Pull away as fast as can, as fast as you can. Where's the stamina? Stamina's done. Stamina's done. We're holding out, though. We're holding out. We're holding out. We might get the dub. Skips might get the dub. No. Ah, so close. So close. But at least we placed. That should be a third place. At least we placed. Stamina just got us. You see? Exactly what I was talking about. I was able to maintain outside leverage. I got going really easily. We did tie a route. But you see how much easier it is to do to, to, to place better if you have outside leverage and you get going on the field before the AI can freaking block you and do all that illegal crap that would get them disqualified if this had real rules. Um, lack stamp, that, oh, that's all that was, man. And honestly, uh, in terms of the stamina, I probably should have whipped, I should probably should have saved one more whip, but you know what? We got going. I'm pleased with that. That's a place, that's progress. I think we're, we're, we're on to better things. Now, Aina. Hopefully she can do something similar for us once again, outside gate position. And you can see I didn't just sit in the back of the pack. I did sacrifice some stamina earlier in the race to keep Skip away towards the outside and higher up uh, with the mid runners. So that might be what I need to do going here on out. Oh, we actually have inside leverage. Uh, what we're gonna do then, I don't, I don't really know how to work this positioning too well. Okay. If we can get outside, we're gonna move outside. That's the goal. So if, if she can stay nose to helmet with whoever this is right here, stay nose to helmet. And uh, yeah, keep her tucked. When as soon as we get a chance to move, we're gonna move. If this horse moves up, we're gonna move over. Okay, we're good right now. We're not using any stamina. We have horses blocking from the inside. This is good. This is this is great. This is great right now. As soon as I can get the move, get the move, get the move. All right, we're good. This is perfect positioning. As long as we have at least half of the field or a quarter of the field to the side of us, we are good. This is really good positioning right now. We'll be able to get a good start. I'm feeling good about this race. 
see this is what I mean getting a good start getting good positioning outside leverage no effort is being exerted I like where I'm at if she's trailing behind too long if I feel like I'm about to get blocked I, I get her under the reins a little bit see horses are coming up I'm gonna get her under the reins I'm gonna get her under the reins we're gonna exert a little bit of stamina we're gonna sacrifice a little bit of stamina right now okay just a little bit but you see calm down if you can keep effort at two bars or lower you're good field is moving very fast uh, we're keeping her right here because eventually we're gonna have to bust a move we're exerting a little too much stamina right now all right we're good exerting more stamina we got to find something to do uh, I'm kind of blocked right now and I'm using hella stamina I'm trying to get a move yep trying to get the move on right now okay a little a little bit of stamina usage but we're all right Okay, we got to get going now. Uh, let's see. Not too bad. Not too bad, but as you can see, the inside totally killed us. I'm not sure if this is a stamina thing. Oh, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. Aina's rallying. Aina's rallying on the outside. We might have the stamina to last. Aina. Aina got us. Can she last? Can she last? 1600 meters in closing Aina got us can she pull it off can she pull it off stamina just the tiring down to the stretch and a uh, close race just close the much better race as you guys can see when I was talking about that outside leverage staying on the outside not being blocked by the AI is so much easier to any maneuverability in this game takes away your stamina obviously so if you have to constantly move because the AI is going in and out and blocking you you're taking away all of your horses stamina right there you have no chance of winning but in a position where you can maintain your stamina you don't have to worry about being blocked and you just got to get her under the reins early get him or her under the reins a lot better showing second or third for that week I'm really happy and content with that it's progress I think I'm starting to see how I need to play a lot better. Like I said, mentally I know it, but physically, you know, trying to do it, it's a lot tougher. Um, but those are much better showings. Second and third place for that week. Give us some money as well. That is what we need to do going forward with this stable mode and with this series. And I'm content with uh, the showing for that. And I hope that we continue to build. But there's quite a few things I want to check with my stables and facilities and stuff. I want to do that off recording because I don't want to bore you guys with that. I know most of you want to actually see the races and stuff. That's the most exciting part about this game. This stuff, you know, it's maintenance, but it's not really that exciting. If this game was just where you were just doing races, I I'll be pretty content, but the whole stable mode management does make it a lot more realistic. So, morale is pretty in the high 70s or mid 70s for all the horses. That's good. We're finding out preferences. We got all that stuff. Good blinkers seem to work for Tatiana. In fact, if I were to get bl uh, blinkers on skip away, that might be good, but I don't know. Um, but that's where I'm going to wrap this video up, folks. Got to go do some things. Hope you enjoy. Like I said, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Horse Racing Magic 2 action. I'm going to keep them coming out for you. If you want the game, information is in the description box down below. Make sure to read the item description page and everything, all the details. That way you know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you purchase the game. Make sure you read it. That is essential, essential, essential. Please share this video with friends, family, colleagues who are into horse racing uh, in general or whatever. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and I'm signing out. We'll see you all later.